Alright, just a quick um, tutorial video on how to improve the silencer for a CR600W. Uh, that's a CO2 rifle marketed by Snow Peak or uh, Diana, a few other brands, I, I forget who. Um, so the silencer it comes with is, is actually pretty reasonable really. Um, if we open it up, um, you open up either end, they both open. Um, for the purpose of this we have to take off both ends. Um, but if you take off the muzzle end, so you can see there's no baffle cap inside the end there. Um, there is a small o-ring in there which will come out. And then all the baffles. So the baffles in this are quite good but there's probably too many um, for, for the purpose of, of what this silencer is for. Um, if you have a, a close look here. The baffles actually the chambers end up being quite small which is good for sort of a rim fire where you've got lots of hot gases but in co2 um bigger chambers are better and and you need something to try and absorb the sound as well uh, so what we're going to do uh grab some hair coolers uh, take this all this velcro stuff off and you end up with um bits that look like these uh, these two are cut um, I haven't cut them too length for this they're just bits that I had hanging around um, then the material I use is called flex foam stabilizer so it's an open cell foam if it'll focus on there it's an open cell foam that has material on each side uh, this was available um, locally uh, it was only about $15 for half a meter of it uh, I find it really good because it absorbs the sound really well and it doesn't fall apart. Now the first knit chamber needs to be quite big. Um, it's probably best to just still use the alloy spacer um, because it does fit quite well over there. Um, so we'll just line that up to exactly where it would be when assembled. Um, then add one of the baffle cones. A bit of a fiddly job. And then your second baffle cone at the end. So you basically just want to see if this is the right length to fit inside there because it's all got to be tight inside there, it can't be loose moving around. So that's about right. Uh, so then to assemble. Screw one end on, chop that spacer down first, then the baffle cup, I'm going to put that in backwards, that's right now. Uh, then you just wrap the hair, hair curler in the flex foam, and insert it, then add another baffle cup, and the same again. Another baffle cup, and then your o ring, and then you do it back up. Now you will need to check, looking down the bore, that there's nothing in the way, that all the baffles all lined up perfectly, that none of the foam is hanging down, um, and that should improve how quiet. Your silencer is. Give it a test one way or the other and um, let me know in the comments if it's quiet or not. Thank you.